Hello nail peeps and welcome back to Decorate Every Nail You Got, where nail things happen, so you might as well subscribe. Okay, today we are going to be looking at the Manny by Me Maniology um, tutorial card, which is not this. It is actually this from the September Manny by Me box. This, their September box is actually their Halloween box. They like to prep people early and I love that because I'm in Germany and it takes me forever to get my stuff. So. Um, I love that I got my Halloween stuff early. Uh, it's called Witch Work, and we are going to be showing off a little manicure with a look inspired by cauldrons and creativity. Um, this is what our manicure tutorial looks like. We are going to be creating this one, and I think we're going to be doing a different one along with it just for funsies. It does say step one to prep your nails with a base coat, but since I'm doing them on fake nails, I'm not going to do that particular step. I don't think it's necessary. It says to paint the base of the nail in gloom. Gloom is the polish that came with the kit. It has a little bit of a gold um, thread in it. It is really pretty and I'm excited about it. This color also is super awesome. This came with the kit and this is Doom. It does mention that this color, Wicked, that's in the tutorial, sorry, that's in the box, it says that it looks different over different colors. So I thought it would be nice to put it over Gloom and then also over Doom. So we're gonna complete step two, but we're gonna do it with Gloom and Doom. We'll do it on one nail with Gloom and the other nail with Doom. We are not going to wait till it dries the whole way. We're gonna wait till it gets tacky until we prepare the stamper with Wicked. Now when we, you know what? Let me go ahead and paint them, get them out of the way, and then I'll prep the stamper and show you what that's about. So I'm gonna start with the Doom color that came in the kit. This is so pretty, I love this color. It's not like an in-your-face orange, it's more of a subtle tangerine kind of color. And it does, like I said it in my previous video, it's got like a little bit of a pink twinge to it. It is oh so pretty. And as per usual, maniology coats in one coat. So I'll probably won't even do two coats of this. So pretty. Like I said, it's got that little bit of a pink tinge when it's over white. So we're gonna see how kind of how it goes as the bottom of this green color. In the end, we're gonna have this wicked color over both of them. So you won't even be able to see that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I should only do. I don't know, we'll get crazy. We'll get crazy. Now I've got the gloom color. This is so pretty, you guys. It's got that purple, um, that gold influence in it, the gold flex. It's really, really pretty. And it's a nice, dark, deep, rich purple. I am. There we go. In one coat. Thank you, Maniology. And it kind of does a little bit of color shifting when you hold it in different ways. So I'm not sure if you can see that because of my lights, but it's really pretty. You can definitely see those gold flakes in it. So hashtag worth it. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside because it's gonna take a little while for them to get sticky. And I'm now going to be using my stamper for the next step. I don't love that Maniology recommends that you do this. It says, while you wait for it to get tacky, prepare your stamper with wicked powder. Apply a light, even layer of powder on the surface of a clean stamper head with the applicator. Once the base polish is tacky, press the stamper head onto the nail to evenly apply the powder over the whole surface. When you apply this powder, that any pigment powder really, onto a stamper, over time that stamper is going to get cloudy. So they really should start putting a disclaimer in there that if you're gonna do this method, you should use an old stamper. So I have lots of old stampers and that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use an old stamper. In fact, I'll do two. Here's one you can see that I've done a lot of that with. So this is my old stamper that I use. It's super cloudy. I don't use it for much other than, um, when I have to do things that I think are gonna damage my stamper. So I'll use this one and I'll also use one of their ice cloud stampers and we'll get them ready. I'm opening the top, you'll notice there is not a lot inside and that's because a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to take the applicator that came with it and let me get this one out of the way. We'll do this one. 
Hopefully I don't, I spilled a little bit when I opened it, so hopefully I won't do much more of that. I'm gonna apply a light, even layer. So you'll see, oh my gosh, it's so iridescent, it's so pretty. Mm, mm, mm. And I see what they mean by even, because if you pull it in the wrong direction, kind of makes some streaks. Okay, light and even. There we go. Super pretty, but this one is ready to go for when that nail gets tacky. Okay, look, I don't really want to do it on this stamper. But, oh, do I have a different stamper? No, let's just do it. This one is one I also use when I um, when I have things that are questionable and might mess up my stamper. It's a little bit harder to put the powder on this one, actually. This one is a Maniology Ice Cube Stamper. The other one was not. I'm not necessarily doing it lightly, but I'm trying. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cap this so none of it flies away because there is only just a precious little bit of it. I love their extra things that they put in their boxes. Let's kind of compare. That is, you guys, that's really pretty. All right, let me check and see how dry these things are. Are they tacky? They're tacky and like, I, ho I hope I didn't let them dry too much. They're, this one's kind of leaving my fingerprint over here. Maybe I should wait a little bit longer, but I don't want to wait too long. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll, we'll just see what happens. I did the orange one first, right? Right? Okay. Um, maybe I won't be able to get the whole nail. I'm kind of excited about seeing this. So it's cloudy, so you won't be able to see everything perfectly. Ooh, you know what? Maybe that'll add to the mystery since it won't cover the whole nail. Okay, so I'm just rolling it on the top. Yeah, it wasn't dry all the way in some places. Oh. <laughs> Be a tricky piece okay first of all that does look really cool over this this color and I think I don't want to do any more with it for right now other than clean out this stamper make sure it doesn't die <laughs> and I am gonna let this one the purple one dry a little bit more before I put the other one on it let's see how easy this is to clean up because I mean honestly if you don't time this right it could be a big tragedy. I'm gonna grab one of my, whoa, sorry. One of my sticky stamper station sets. That's take off the top. And hopefully that polish comes off easily too. And it did. That's nice. And then to clean it, really, you just have to do this repeatedly over and over and over again. Put it on top. And then eventually it'll come out clean. Do, 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 do. You can see that kind of, isn't that funny though that that green powder made this kind of pink color on there? Oh, it's like iridescent -y. it's so pretty. So pretty! Okay, let's look at the nail one more time. Just for funsies. It's so pretty. I mean, yes, a screw up, but so pretty. All right, let's check the purple one. I think it's definitely more dry than the orange one was. I'm grabbing my stamper. This is not gonna cover the whole thing either. I simply did not, you know what? Then let me go ahead and extend it. Ooh, I still had some on here, so that's good. I'll extend it out this way, extend it out that way. And then we'll just bam, bam, bam. Try to even it out and do this. Okay, hopefully it works from top to bottom. You can't see through it, so this is not as easy as it looks. And here we go, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, it was dry enough, so it definitely works. That looks so cool. Oh, that looks really neat. 
Once again, you get that iridescent shimmer look and it's very different than the orange. So yes, it absolutely makes a different what difference what color you use it over. It definitely doesn't look green on this one. It looks more like a gold, more like a yellow. In fact, when, now that it's a little bit more dry over here, I'm gonna take the residual, what's left on here, and just kind of go and see if any of it will come off. A little bit did. Um, I think we'll decorate this in one anyway, even though I messed it up, just to kind of see what happens. Just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. So definitely depends on what color you put it over. So if you put it over that, like a darker, like a black or a purple, it's going to get this green shimmery. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. In certain, light, in certain angles it looks blue, certain angles it looks purple. And this one's very different. In certain angles this one's going to look gold, it's going to look yellow. It does have a little bit of green tinge to it. So it definitely depends on what color you put it over. All right, let's see what the tutorial says to do next. By the way, once again, cleaning. I just, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep doing this like a million bazillion times. Cause see, one time it's not gonna do it. I'm gonna need to use a nice clean sheet to make sure that it does the rest of it though. It's getting there pretty quickly. Get off, get off, get off. But I definitely will go over this several more times on a clean sheet. Okay, set that aside. Let's see where we go next with our tutorial. Make sure we finished all this. Uh, press the stamper head onto the nail to evenly apply the pot. Yep, did it. Step four, pick up the fly image on MXM064. Let's find it. Here's 064. I see a fly. Where do I see a fly? There it is. Okay, so there's the fly, and it says pick it up using, uh, pick up the fly image. They use like a purple. I wonder if they use Doom. Okay, let's use Doom just to be safe, but it doesn't look like they did. This looks like a lot darker than that. But anyway, let's use Doom. It says using a detail color in the body with Doom and light green for the wings. Well, that's not light green or Doom. Okay, once the image is tacky, stamp the design into the center of the nail, apply smudge free top coat to protect your stamp. I'm gonna make sure that it transfers and I'm gonna do that with foil glue. Um, once dry, pat, put a matte top coat. Hmm, well, using a detail brush, color in the body with, do oh, Doom, Doom is the orange color, duh. <laughs> My bad. So <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up with gloom I'm going to color it in with Doom and light green. So let me go grab a light green and then we'll get this baby started. Yeah, I got my maniology stuff ready. I did pick up, it's a light green in the fact that it's more like a little, like a goldish green and it's called Ghoulish. It's one of their Halloween colors from last year. So that's the one I decided to use. We're going to pick up this beautiful little fly guy. Yes, we are with our monocle stamper. There he is. I'm gonna get off the excess using my um, sticky stamper station. It's multi-use. I could be using the edge of my scraper, but sometimes the sticky stamper station just does it a lot faster and easier. And then I gotta pick up a detail brush and do some painting. For the painting, I am going to use the color they suggested, which was Doom. I'll put a touch of Doom onto my mat. And I'm going to pick up my detail brush. And we're going to start filling this bad boy in. I need to see the tutorial card. Just the body part right here. Okay. Well, okay. Looks like it's not gonna show a lot of color. Hmm. Let's get all the way up here. And then we're just gonna make sure all of that is filled in. Hit it from all the angles. And then I'm gonna get the wings. Flip him over, make see how he looks. Okay, he's cute. He's cute. 
And then we're gonna do the same thing, but this time with the ghoulish color for his wings. We'll color in both the wings in ghoulish. Kind of sounded like goulash when I said that, didn't it? <laughs> okay, then we gotta do some wings. We gonna get them wings. And then this bad boy is gonna have to dry, so we might as well figure out what we're gonna do on the other nail, even though it's all kind of messed up. Maybe, maybe I could try to stamp something over the mess up so it doesn't get real bad and you won't be able to notice it. I mean, nobody's gonna be wearing it, so these are just my practice nails. There we go. He's cute. You know, I can't really see him very well. There we go. Maybe I need to fill in just a little bit more on this one at the end. Oh, grapple snaps. I think I went out of lines. Nope, oh, he's okay. All right, now he's gonna have to dry. Let's pick something else that we can stamp. Hmm. On to the other guy. Maybe, maybe we should just take a patch from the center and put it in ghoulish and see what happens. Not ghoulish, in um, that one color, the dark color. Gloom or doom? <laughs> this one, gloom. Okay, so let's just take a patch of that and see how it looks. And then maybe it'll cover up this kind of big boo-boo that we made, right? Maybe. <laughs> I like the word wicked in there though, that's cool. Maybe just something straight from the middle. Yeah, let's just grab something straight from the middle. I'm not gonna be picky. Sometimes I overanalyze this stuff and I don't I don't get, you know, I, I, I overanalyze it and I get too worried about what's on there when really nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's going to be like all up in my business and all up in my nails and I just need to idle down. So I grabbed another stamper. This is a clear jelly stamper because my other one is drying. Okay, so this is a nice, nice pretty color. I'm gonna separate this stuff over here, move this over here. Gonna stamp it on. Oh, I don't know if I got enough. Oh, poop snaps, I did not get enough. Okay, so let's see how this goes then. Let's just start down here. Hmm. I guess I waited a lot too long. Well, you know what I know? I screwed up this nail all together. Like all together. Like there's no good part about this nail. So it's probably going in the Garbaggio. But I have to do this one more time just to see how that purple looks. Um, you guys. Okay, let me get a, let me get something else. Because I put it onto my sticky stamper station and I was a little worried. I tried to get it off and it wasn't coming off, but I'm sure you can understand why. That's the part where I put that powder earlier. Oops. Okay, so let's get that off of there and then we'll try it again and we'll be faster. We'll be faster. Okay, I'm gonna clean that guy off. Give him a second. Put more gloom down. This time I'm gonna make it longer. You people with long, long nails, like, I don't know how y'all do it, because stamping's hard on long nails. Okay, let's try this again. That's a different section, but oh well. Let's just do it. I'm just doing it. Okay, a couple things I know. Number one, you can't even really tell that I made that big of a mistake, okay? First of all, down here, it just looks like a bunch of hodgepodge of stuff. And the words got covered up, so that's good. Second thing, I think this color combination with the powder looks pretty cool. And I wouldn't be mad at that for a Halloween nail, honestly. I would not be mad at that. Even though I really messed up over here, you can't even really tell that I messed it up that badly. So, yeah, I'm down with that. Hopefully the fly looks a lot better. I am gonna grab my foil glue. It's like one of my favorite transfer solutions from Maniology. 
Um, you know what? The problem with using it though is maybe, it could be that it messes up this color. Uh, we'll just see. Okay, let's decide where I want it because I don't want to, just in case it does mess up the whole thing, I don't want to put it over the whole nail. Right at the edge, you think? At the top or at the bottom? Or right in the middle? They put theirs right kind of in the middle towards the top. I don't think it really matters where I'm gonna put mine. I'm gonna put mine at the bottom. So I'll put my foil glue at the bottom only and hopefully you guys everybody cross your fingers. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up. Here we go. Okay, it did not mess it up much. Now that's gonna have to dry a little bit, so I'm gonna count to 30 seconds and I'm gonna put you back with me in 30 okay, seconds. I get a lot done in 30 seconds. So I just cleaned up a little bit and I picked up my stamper and here we go. So I'm gonna put it right at the edge. Hopefully I don't put them crooked. Ah, my nail moved. And I did not wait long enough for the foil glue to dry, which is super frustrating. Or maybe it didn't hold on to it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna wait 30 more seconds and we'll try again with the exact same stuff. All right, let's try that again. This is just 30 seconds later. You know what I thought I was thinking about though? Is that for the same reason it didn't come off when I had the powder on the sticky stamper station? Maybe that was it. Nope, I just didn't wait long enough for the glue to dry. And you can see that I missed a couple of parts there too. <laughs> now my stamper is messed up. Okay, sometimes tutorials do not go the way you want them to go. That is what we learned from this. I am not redoing this video because you guys need to know that stamping, stamping is a process. It doesn't always work the way you want it to. What I know is I probably should have followed the tutorial card. By the way, I still have glue and stuff on here. All I have to do is put it on there and my stamper will be good as new. Oh, I can't say it's gonna be good as new. I don't know if that glue is gonna over time mess it up, but hopefully not. It does look like it's nice and clean. And it doesn't look like it's any worse than it was before, which is good. Okay, so here's our little guy. I am gonna press him down a little bit. You can see that he's a little bit raised. The tutorial card did not say for me to put anything. It said once it's tacky to stamp the design in the center of the nail. You guys, that doesn't always work. So that may or may not work for you. Just be aware that you might have to try that a couple of times, okay? It says apply a smudge-free top coat to protect your stamp. Once dry, apply a matte top coat for the final look. So let me grab uh, my sticky stamper. No, not my sticky, my smudge-free top coat. Let me grab that. I now have my smudge-free top coat and I shall apply it. I wonder if it's gonna even out this place where I put the foil, foil glue and mess it up. Moral of the story is the foil glue does mess it up. It doesn't make it as shiny and pretty like it is. Oh, it changed the color. Did you guys see that? It's a lot more green than it was two seconds ago. Well, he's missing the little star in front. That's okay. Let's also, I wanna see what happens when I put it over this one. Okay, let me rearrange things. I'm kind of pushing the extra stamp part down. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Smudge free top coat coming at you. Okay, bright and vivid. This one I am definitely not mad at. The, color, the background color over here I love. I don't know how I feel about the fly. He's not my favorite image. Probably would have done him in black. It did not tell me what color to use to pick him up. It just said, pick up the fly image. It didn't say what color to, look, to use and it looked like they used a purple, so. 
That's what I did, but I probably, in hindsight, would have gone back and did black on that one. Anyway, I do like how this one came out. It's nice and shiny. You can tell it's orange in certain lights, but in certain lights it looks um, shimmery or golden. Pretty cool how it shifts in the light. And even though I messed it up, because I have the full image over it, you really, it's not that big of a deal. Is it sad that I think I like this one better? <laughs> even though I messed it up more. Anyway, yeah, tutorials don't always go the way you want them to. I am going to, um, I don't have a matte polish that is not gel, so I'm gonna leave that one like that is. And I'm trying to look at theirs and see, does it look like that's matte? Maybe. Maybe. That's a pretty cool one. This is really neat. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the tutorial there. One, because I'm super disappointed in how that one, and number two, I just don't love this nail. I don't think I want to mess with it anymore. Mess it up, y'all. Mess it up real bad. I don't like this piece right here that looks orange in it. Anyway, it is what it is. The tutorial's not terrible. It definitely is something different for Halloween. So here's our tutorial card, and here's the two nails that we came up with using that tutorial card. And one of them turned out really well. I am very happy with that. Anyway, people, that's it for me today. If you want to get 10% off of your order, you can use my code GrooveMama and get yourself 10% off of your order at maniology.com. Follow me on Instagram. That would be good. And, I mean, as always, you can like this video and subscribe if you want. Until we meet again, I hope you decorate every nail you got. Bye!